So we got the official reveal. We're gonna watch this live. This is my first time in watching it, so I'm gonna watch Shadow it with you guys. Legacy, a legend steps out of the darkness and into the light as Sam Fisher comes to Rainbow Six Siege. Armed with a powerful new intel gathering gadget. This basically just confirms all of our leaks here. And a gruff demeanor honed over years of field work. Fisher steps into his new call sign, Zero. With all the swagger you'd expect from yep. an icon. Yep. But Shadow Legacy is about more than Don't one look at Whoa, hold up. Uh, I'm going to try not to pause too much, but look at the reticles. So this is the new scope, obviously. But look at the colors. You can probably change your color now. That looks like it's pink with the... Um, the reticle color is pink. I, I hope we could get like a whole color wheel and it's not just like a few colors we have options of. We'll see. It's about a whole host of gameplay modifications that will change the way you play Siege. Ping, Ping 2.0. Let's new go. And updated optics, a hard breaching secondary gadget, pooled reinforcements, and map yeah, that guy had a green reticle. Plus so yeah, the match replay alpha phase on the test server are just some of the updates. Match that, replay, along Let's with the rework go. of the scenic chalet map, will ensure this season has a lasting legacy. Follow this channel to stay current with siege announcements, and let's get into it. Man, that's it starts be cool. with Sam Fisher joining Team Rainbow as Zero. A medium speed, medium armor attack. So that's the new gun. His that gun SC3000 is. His SC3000K yeah, assault rifle may look familiar to fans of his previous work, and it's right at home in that is going to be such a, a good gun. Of to suit your preferred look at the style. recoil. It looks so nice. Also rock the Literally MP7, looks like the T57. And he's got a five. And he has the MP7. Confirmed. Let's go. Arm with an integrated suppressor in keeping with his signature stealthy style. Speaking of which, check out the laser sight on his Argus launcher. It doesn't just have the look, it also delivers the goods. Intel. Ready. Argus launched. Always one to use cameras to his advantage, Zero can fire his Argus projectiles into breakable and It looks like he only has one taser whenever he gets on it. As you guys can see in a second. Yeah, he only has one taser. Barrier. Walls. That's floors, good. That's good. It won't make him too overpowered. That's good. All potential peak points for Zero and his allies. And though these two-way cameras can only look in one direction at a time, there's no more versatile way to get a look into a room the defenders don't want you to see. Even if they can't burrow all the way through, Zero's camera projectiles will still stick into most surfaces, opening up a world of possibilities for cheeky new camera placements. And it's not just intel they'll be gathering. Each Argus projectile can fire a single laser to destroy enemy gadgets or deal minor damage to enemies themselves. Zero's gadget is a powerful new tool for the attacking team, so defenders will want to keep their eyes and ears peeled. The projectiles make a distinct sound that, it, when borrowing That's so into loud, place, it'll be easy to kill it. So that's the good news. With a bullet. Hopefully, I was, that was my biggest hope, is it wasn't going to be overpowered, content. and it looks like they also, did balance that pretty well. Will keep them from functioning, while that's Wamai good. And Jaeger's gadgets will snap yeah, Jaeger and Wamai will destroy it. It's, it's perfect. But with looks so like it's going to be balanced. So far, so good. Gadget from relative safety, and so many ways to put it to use, Zero is sure to make his presence felt on Team Rainbow. Now, you may have noticed that some of the pings from Zero's Argus cameras look different from what you're Look used at that to. ping system. Welcome I love that. Welcome to Ping 2.0, an evolution of the it ping It shows what it actually to is. Give you better tools to communicate and coordinate with your squad. Each player will be assigned a numbered ping marker every match, so you know who's calling out what. You'll be able to ping from drones and cameras and pings will now show contextual information when you point out gadgets, the diffuser, and other objects of interest. Operation Shadow Legacy is a season chock full of improvements like this, so let's run you through a few more. Another area where you may have spotted some changes is Look the at that optics on the that weapons. That's so whack. There are some new scopes I'm interested to see how this is going to work. Levels, that looks like a sniper so rifle. Look for the classic ACOG to be reinvented as the 2.5X. There ACOG are also is 2.5. sites, okay. including a new red dot and that a red new dot's terrible. I as well as a red general dot. overhaul. On okay, I really like the the hollow though. For which guns. It's weird looking, but it, it it's neat. Plus, you can now customize the color and opacity there it is. of your reticles to see I like your targets that. in a whole new light. Uh, it looks like we're only going to get a few There's color options. I thought it was going to be like an RGB like spin wheel. All of the that would have been cool. Will now be drawn from a shared pool. The team will have 10 reinforcements that anyone can use, no matter how many players start the match. This means that a speedy teammate can now... 
boys that is what's up let's go you know that one teammate that just never reinforces well that doesn't matter anymore because it's a 10 pool if you have 10 of them you could literally put down all 10 they're really helping out us solo cures for sure oh my goodness now secure more than two hatches and anchors won't have to worry about roamers scurrying off to the far reaches of the map without reinforcing the site but you'll have to keep a keen eye on those reinforcements because a new hard breaching secondary gadget means that the attackers now have a new way to bust on through. The gadget will start fusing as soon as the deploy animation is completed. And though I really don't like the looks the of this one, ways, the circle, I just, now have to be wary I don't know. It's not my favorite Vermite, design, Ivana, but Maverick, it is cool. Ace, punching holes in their reinforced walls and hatches. How you defend those reinforcements will change a bit with Operation Shadow Legacy, thanks to an update to Thatcher's EMP grenade. The what? electric blast will now temporarily disable gadgets instead of destroying them outright. That makes sense. Meaning the gadgets but, will come um, back online. But that's going to kill ends. bandit tricking. So now, I for think. Example, is it going to show us? Mines will simply be revealed, and bandits' batteries will become yeah, because you can't yet remain in place. Oh. Attackers will have to time their pushes to take advantage of the disabled state before the defender's utility powers back up, while defenders who like to bandit trick will have to get a little trickier. Here it is. So you're going to have to pick up the battery and put it down. That is... Siege team has been working on ways to help you work oof. on your tricks. Bandit tricking's dead. In addition just, to the new My that. Siege Stats tool on Rainbow6.com, which gives you a deeper look at your in-game performance, the highly anticipated match replay feature is coming to the Operation Shadow Legacy test servers. That's big time. The fact that they are putting this in makes content creators jobs so much easier. People that just want to make videos on the game, you don't have to always be recording. You can instead like go back, rewatch it and record it there, which is huge because I mean, as a content creator, it's like I don't want to be recording every single game I play because some games I'm not going to want to do anything with, obviously. So this is big. This is huge for anyone really or just teams like any, anyone. Any this is a great, great update. And watch them through from the spectator camera view. Don't know if that's actually the gonna be they said it's an alpha version, so I don't know if it'll actually come with the real server, but tactics, recording still it's coming. It's coming soon. That's all you gotta know. The evergreen question of how did they get me? Match replay is one of the most powerful learning tools to come to Rainbow Six Siege. Be sure to use it on the test server and give the team some feedback to help them make it even better. ACOG one basically more thing looks before the we same. talk about the new map rework, and that's map ban. Coming to the ranked and yep. unranked playlist. Map ban. Map ban will follow in the footsteps. I honestly didn't know if this was going to come this season, but that's cool. To give you that's a little cool. more control. There's a lot of pre-game stuff into. though. And yes, there's a fresh rework coming to that map pool. The chalet map rework brings some new navigation options to the venerable retreat, notably the ability to repel all the way up and traverse the rooftop. Master bedroom renovations have enclosed the bedroom terrace and added an ah, interior no more balcony? staircase down to Tragic. the trophy room, while a new basement corridor staircase offers to trophy, a new rotation route new little hallway, sites. that's basically all and it's new. And beware the new window above the Looks much good. contested garage door. The Looks snowmobile good. won't save you from that sight line. The chalet map rework and all the new features and gameplay modifications in this video will be free for all players at the launch of Operation Shadow Legacy. Sam Fisher, a.k.a. Zero, will be unlocked for Year 5 Pass holders exclusively at launch and will be available for everyone else to purchase seven days later with Renown or R6 credits. Follow this channel to keep up with the latest in Siege news and visit us at news. Okay, is that it? I think that's it. So, that was it. So, what we can take from that? New sites, new map ban, new ping system, new operators, and a new map. So, there's a lot going on here. There's nothing really to not be excited about. I know a lot of people were like, it's just another season, but I, I honestly, I would give this one a chance if you haven't played Siege in a minute. This is something that could potentially change the game for a lot of casual players as well. The ping system is really good for casuals. The map or the reinforcement pool is really good for casuals. And also on this screen right here, you get to see aces, uh, or not aces, what? Also on on this screen here actually there was nothing about Tachanka that's interesting um not in this reveal trailer that's interesting but you do get to see Sam Fisher's actual like emblem card it's a green one again so 
Look how many green ones are just in this game. There's so many green ones. I don't know why that's their go-to color. But it looks good. It looks like it has like the three light thing, which is kind of his known look. That's a reveal. Whenever it comes to the test server, it will be on the test server for a week, most likely, and then it'll go to live server. That's usually how it works for anyone asking. They don't actually reveal the date that it's coming in this one, at least. I don't believe so no they do not reveal when it's actually coming to live servers but once it goes to the test servers that's whenever you can assume that the week later or two weeks later it is going to be on the live server so honestly let me know if you're excited for this season i even forgot to mention the hard breach gadget once again i do not like the design but it is you know it is effective anyways lots of changes coming i'm sure they didn't even reveal them all once they do come out and they actually give us like a patch note thing i will reveal that or i'll give a patch notes but for now, here's the full reveal. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.